Hello, everyone, and welcome to the inaugural episode of Website Nightmares. And I'd like to introduce to you our very first nightmare. It's Pasquale's. Or is it the char? Or is it Beckley Italian? Nobody really knows. Because this website sucks. It's a nightmare. First, let's look over on the left. What the heck is that? Some jaggy little JPEG graphic? Hello? Get rid of that. At least then it won't look so bad. You know, you notice up in the URL it says Beckley Italian ID 6html Okay, so, you know, what the hell were they thinking of? Is it Beckley Italian or is it Pasquale's or is it the rest of the char? I don't know. Do you? I sure hope you know because I don't. So we look at Pasquale's, okay? First and foremost, the logo is always supposed to link to the home page, and it doesn't. And then we've got uh, text here in uh, an image, so it's totally useless for Google. Absolutely, absolutely insane. You're coming, you're looking around for uh, information about this restaurant, or both restaurants, or all three restaurants. I don't know how many restaurants there are, but this is very confusing. Because you're here at Pasquale's, but the URL says Beckley Italian, and then it says the char. And then it's telling you to click the char button above, which is way over here on the right instead of over where it's supposed to be important. Then it says disable pop-up blockers if you want to go to the char. Well, I came to, to Pasquale's, or did I come to Beckley Italian? Am I supposed to go to the char? Is this website no longer in existence? So why is it here? I don't get it. So let's take a look here at this menu, okay? Nothing happens at rollover. So I don't know if anything's taking action except for my little little finger button there. And then I click the menu and it goes here to download. I don't want to download. I want to see what you have. I want to read what you have. And if you put the text on the page, it's better for search engines. Hello. So I'm going to click wine list. Ooh, look at that graphic. Once again, it's a picture and it wants me to open a PDF. Okay, I'm sorry. But I don't want to open a PDF. I want to see what wines you have at a glance because I'm jonesing for some Italian or something charred anyway uh, for dinner and I don't want to have to fight to find out what to eat and what to drink. Then there's gift certificates and catering and directions and then the char and oh there's a, here's another one Bella Casa oh look it's some other place equally bad as far as the website is concerned. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the char, where she's apparently where we're supposed to go. Oh, horrific. Okay, we'll talk about that in another episode. Okay, here's directions. Oh, okay, a little map. Uh, nothing to click to print. Um, not actually a Google map, which would have been nice because then I can click to print directions. Um, or actually, I would have been able to click to have directions listed. Um, okay, here's catering. Again, a wonderful PDF. And it looks like the PDF is just telling me to call. I'm not even going to click the button because that's just, you know, forget it. Gift certificates. Oh, great. Purchase a gift certificate. Call. What if I, and you take Visa MasterCard, why aren't you doing this online? What is going on? You know, the point of a website is to give a person, your visitor, information in order to make a decision about your business. If your website gives you no information about your business, why do you have a frickin' website? This officially sucks. This is a nightmare of the nth degree. This is a website which has no representation of the restaurant it's supposed to be. It sucks. So the food must suck. It has to, because they can't even decide on the name. Well, there you go. Episode number one of Website Nightmares.